hi hello popping queen how are you doing yes you you look at you how are you doing you are looking cute like look at you don't let anybody tell you nothing you are cute you are popping you are what my kitty popping queen okay kitty gang 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 okay i'm gonna sing all the single ladies because of you all the single ladies 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 all the single guys if i meet beyonce i'm gonna faint i'm just literally gonna be like if beyonce asks me to come and do her makeup i will faint but yes guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in welcome back to our channel i know you're gonna be like okay chichi what are you doing don't know am i popping am i looking cute guys i did this brows in one second i hope i'm looking cute but i'm having my brunch alone because guess what i want to talk to you guys yes you you guys okay okay before i get started let me show you guys what i'm eating okay so this is what egg i have fried egg guys i almost burned this egg like i know you guys know by now i can burn anything i can even burn water yes i almost burned this food can you see that yes i almost burned this food i'm not gonna lie why you guys first of all let's start by saying a prayer for chichi in the comment section the spirit of burning I don't know. I have to burn anything. Anything, even water. I know this is not your first time of hearing this. I burn anything. But yes, this is what? Egg? Fried egg, tomatoes, pepper, and I have bread. This is what? I get a bread. I like to call this bread Nigerian bread. Okay? Yes, okay. <laughs> All right. So, that's what we've got today. I've got my tea. And, oh, milk. I don't have my milk i'm gonna be back guys i'm back okay the milk i'm using today is what evaporated milk i know you guys are gonna be like chichi drink fresh milk fresh milk is for the boys okay not for me not for chef ola this is what i drink yes this is what i like to call nigerian milk again <laughs> so nigerian bread nigerian milk oh my god i'm crazy for yeah okay in case you're wondering where chef ola is I shock Chef Ola out. I throw him out. Chef Ola is out. He's sleeping outside. He's actually slept outside yesterday. Because guess what? Chef Ola has been rude to me on this channel. And enough is enough. He's not here. So we're going to be doing, doing our mukbang. You're going to be doing mukbang just with me. I lied. I lied. Okay? Chef Ola is, has eaten. Because I just woke up not long ago. Okay? So Chef Ola has had his one. And I want to have my own. And I'm like, hmm... Because I did a Zoom meeting and my face is popping because I did my brows just for Zoom meeting. Okay? That's why I have my brows. Okay? But why not? I'm eating, so why would I not film it? So you guys, kitty pies, will see my food. Okay, another thing. If you have not bought your own, I am popping t-shirt. If you look down, let's take a second to look down. Just look down. Just under this video, you will see a black one and a white one. It's what I am popping t-shirt. I want you guys to wait and do what and take a selfie and tag us on Instagram at I am popping because guess what? You are popping. You are slaying. Don't let anybody tell you nothing. I'm telling you, people are, people are going to be like, oh my God, look how she looks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't let them tell you nothing because you are popping. You are my queen. Yes, you are my queen. Make sure you take a selfie under this video. And also remember to tell me I look cute because see how I'm telling you you look cute. So also tell me I look cute. Yes, you look cute, baby. Okay, so let's make our tea. Ooh, nice. Guys, if you don't know anything about me, this is some, one thing you need to know about me. I drink tea. I know I've told you guys a lot. I've told you guys this a lot of time on this channel. I can drink tea in the morning, afternoon, evening, night, midnight. I love my tea. I love my wine, drinks, alcohol, whatever. Yes, but that's me for you. Tea. I don't know i drink water let me not just say i don't drink water but i think i drink less water i'm gonna change my diet true that's my new year resolution it's gonna happen we're just in the beginning of the year it's gonna happen it's gonna happen if you believe me comment down below say chichi i believe you it's gonna happen i'm gonna stop eating drink more water no tea no alcohol 
that's it okay so let's eat up okay you guys you have to eat okay eat my language they say trouble no they finish okay so you have to eat up okay i think i'm gonna have hot chocolate yeah let me have hot chocolate so because after this video you guys gonna sleep okay hot chocolate so oh my god i've made this spoon i normally don't turn it until i pour everything damn need a last one okay sugar and milk milk so this is hot chocolate and milk this is what protein ah oh. you need protein in your life mmm nice nice it's too full oh, I forgot about my milk and I put too much water oh. okay this bread I told you guys microwave your agege bread okay microwave this bread if you want this bread to be yummy microwave it because look so hot looks like I'm just coming from the bakery let's taste this food and see if this food is yummylicious my food eh? my food is always yummy I'm telling you don't look at my food the taste will convince you let me not say it look will convince you it tastes ah mmm it's nice mmm ah this is nice ah ah food is nice food is food is life mmm mmm yummy mmm nice mmm food is nice mmm if I do not eat, what did I gain? If you did not eat, what do you gain? And what do you lose? Oh yeah, you are malicious. This is what it's called. Hmm. Okay, guys. By the title of this video, you're, you're gonna be wondering. Okay, Chichi, what do we have today? What do we have today? What are you saying today? I know when you come alone. Anytime I come alone, I always come in peace. Okay, I come in peace. But you guys know Chichi. I'm gonna tell you guys the way you eat. Keep it real. That's how I do it here. I keep it what real on a what a hundred percent. Okay, that's why I do. That's what we're. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so you guys. Okay, let me talk about women. Women in particular. Women. If you're a woman, you're a mom. Okay, let's just say mom or woman. Mom, woman, all of them. Okay, I'm telling you this here. Yeah? A lot of the times here, yeah? you yes you. Very mom, we complain too much like, oh, our husband doesn't help us to do anything in the house. Our husband doesn't help us. We do everything by ourselves. Oh my God, I'm tired. Oh my God, I'm sick. Especially if you're in United Kingdom. Especially if you're in abroad. Okay, not United Kingdom. Abroad. Okay? And you're there complaining. Oh, this, uh, I cannot, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. Because... You guys want to be in charge. You guys want to do everything. You guys want to be the one to be cooking, to be taking, do, doing everything in the house. Before the other will even help you. You've already done it. How do you want your husband to help? When you wake up in the morning, you do everything. You clean, 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 clean. When the other wake up, everywhere is clean. When the children wake up, everywhere is clean. Nobody's going to help you. Then your children, in the other hand, they won't even know how to do nothing. Nah, nah, eh. You get? Because all you do is do everything yourself. You know? It's not good. I used to be like that before, 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 before. <laughs> okay. But at some point, yeah, you need to relax, chill. Okay. Let the children walk. Let husband help you a little. Okay. Don't come complaining and saying people don't help you when you don't allow people to help. You need to let people help. Okay. That's it. And again, mm, mm, right. Mm mm. Mm -mm. guys this is so nice okay let me use this opportunity to say that i was i i wanted to be doing more of juice corner juice corner juice corner but people all the emails i'm getting is about one topic men 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 We're like you guys don't have anything to send like don't you have any juice to send apart from men 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 my husband my boyfriend 
So that's why I, I stopped. I was like, I'm not going to be doing this juice color because it's just like you guys are just sending the same thing to me. You're not making it juicy at all. So no more juice corner. No more juice corner. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I should even do. Do you guys want story time? Oh God. I have a lot of stories. A lot of stories. If you guys want story time, comment down below. I'm like, Chichi, you want story time? Your girl has been through a lot. Ugh. A lot has happened, obviously. Your girl have a lot of stories to tell you. So if you want story time, comment down below. I will give it to you heart heart, okay? A lot of story time, marriage story, relationship story, any story, growing up story, Nigeria story, abroad story, anyone. Comment down below, okay? I don't want those emails sending and every time I receive emails, it's all about men, okay? Okay, this is another one, guys. Ladies, okay? There is no such thing as bad mom, okay? Don't get... Don't let anybody tell you you're a bad mom. Don't let anybody tell you you're a bad mom. I watched a movie that somebody, she had a baby and she left the baby outside for somebody to take the baby. It, like she actually put the baby nicely in a, in a, in a basket kind of look thing. Yeah, she dressed the baby, warm clothes, everything. She put the baby outside. She was watching the baby until the person took her, the baby, okay? She was watching the baby. So that kind of person, you cannot say she's a bad mom. She did what was right at the time for the baby because she can't even feed the baby. She's not a bad mom, okay? So I will say to you, there's no such thing as bad mom, okay? Some of you just want to do like extra, too, too much because you just want to, that title, good mom, good mom, good mom. Every mom is a good mom, okay? For you to even carry a baby nine months, you don't know what it is. To have nine months, nine months pregnant is not easy. So... You're a good mom, okay? Don't be like, oh my God, people are going to say I'm not a good mom if I don't do this, if I don't do that, you know, I'm going to do this, okay? Don't feel like that. Let people help you. Let husband help you. Don't be because you want to be a good mom and you want to be taking charge. Let husband help you, okay? If he's not broad, let husband help you to do school runs. If your husband can help you do school runs, then you stay at home. If the children come back, you make them food. You know, give them food. You can do some other thing, okay? Apart from doing school runs, you can do something else, okay? If the children come back from school, you make them food. If you cannot make them food, you buy them takeaway, okay? You buy them Uber Eats. I let them eat, okay? Even, I'm going to tell you guys, children love takeaway. Oh, my God. Oh, I love British children. They love takeaway. If you can be buy them takeaway every day, oh, my God, you're the best mom. Oh, yes. I'm telling you this, if you cannot cook self, don't kill yourself. Buy take away. Oh my god, the children will love you. Oh my god. And again, if you cannot clean, take hire somebody that will be helping you to clean. Don't be like, mm, 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 mm. Don't be because because you want to collect best mom awards and the thing that you want to be cleaning and if you cannot clean. Get a cleaner. Don't kill yourself. This life is one life. It's like I have time to put on some lip gloss and be looking kids. Okay? You need to put on your lip gloss. How are you going to have time to put on your lip gloss when you wake up early morning? Eh? To go and be doing something. Okay? Okay. Especially in guys, well, if you're a working mom, it's not easy. Okay? Joke apart, guys. Joke apart. Let's be serious. For a working mom, it's too much to deal with. You know? Too much to do it. You know, sometimes let people help. Everybody help each other. Don't feel like to do you want to do extra. Because sometimes I just pity some people. They, they do too much, like, oh my god, let me do this, do this, do this, do this. Let me tell you something. Yeah? I'm not even like trying to say that, oh, I love being a mom. Like my ch children love me. My husband love me. I'm a great mom, not even good. When they call great mom, I'm a great mom. So therefore, I love being a great mom, I love being a good mom, okay? But sometimes you just have to relax, chill, and let place. Just watch movies, put your leg up, and just relax, okay? Don't kill yourself and don't feel anyhow. Don't actually feel anyhow like, oh my God, because I didn't do this. Oh my God. If you can buy, take away, buy, take away, okay? And if you cannot afford a cleaner, you can let your husband help you, okay? Oh, you don't feel like don't do too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Guys, I 
I'm going to tell you a story, yeah? Anytime I have friends, yeah? Like, I have friends that will be like, oh, their husband left them, their boyfriend left them, their single mom, their boyfriend did not want to marry them. And along the line, they have a child, okay, together. They have a child together. I used to, um, because I'm a hairdresser as well, some of them are just not my friend, 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 but just like client, stunt friend. They'll come to me, oh, Chichi, the useless guy, he doesn't, because he doesn't want to marry me, he cheated on me, I'm not going to let him see the child. He's not seeing my child, he's not doing this, he's not doing this. If you're that kind of person, please, this video is for you. You have to change. This is me. I'll tell my friends, I'll tell my client plain truth. I'll be like, don't do that. Don't try to be the good mom, best mom, title. Because of that, you don't want a man to see his child. Because guess what? You're just going to do it until you're eight, they're 18. Yeah? When the children are 18, they will see their dads, okay? And remember, you've already, like, you're 18 years. You've been there. You're not going out, going to party, going to club, going to this, enjoying your life because you're there. Try to be a good mom. I know. Being a good mom is good. I'm a, I, I'm a, like, a true believer that it's good to be a good mom. Sometimes, not, you just have to chill. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Like, for instance, now, okay, you want to be, you want to take the child from the dad. You don't want the dad to have anything to do with the child. Because of, obviously, if you're a, a, a man cheats on you, it's going to hurt you. It's going to really hurt you. Like, that feeling is not good. But sometimes, call yourself, like, put yourself together. It's not the end of life. I always tell you this. If your husband leaves, it's not the end of life. If your boyfriend leaves, it's not the end of life. If you, have, if you have a child, that doesn't mean that life has finished. Life continues. In fact, you're going to even get a better person, a better husband, a better than the person. So don't even be like, okay, because of that, this man must not see the child. Okay? A lot of people do this thing. And I'm telling you, from experience, it's a big mistake. Because you are there suffering, doing everything by yourself, going to school. Maybe you're even working. You take the child to school. Come back, go and pick the child. Weekend, you can't even go out because you're there with the child. And the child is sick. You're the one with the child in the hospital. Everything. You're the one with the child. You're doing, that. You're doing everything solo. Sometimes, I understand, some men are just useless. They don't want to help. But other times, a lot of these guys want to help. But the woman will be like, I don't want to see you around my child. Don't come anywhere, my child. They will even go and change the child's name. That the child should not answer the father's name. But guess what? Let me tell you, if you're like that, this is a prayer you have to be praying. I'm telling you, you have to pray this prayer really well. That, that your baby, that, that baby daddy must not be successful. It's a bad prayer, but you might, you might need to pray. It because if he's successful, very successful, the child, <laughs> the child, you see the child flashing the picture on Instagram when he's 18. Oh, my dad, my dad, oh, my dad is the best dad. Go and watch Will Smith, you will see. When you see the Will Smith, when Will Smith, when did he see this child? 30 years. The, the child, go on Instagram. Count how many pictures of the, of, the, of the boy's mom is there. And count how many pictures. You even see a video to say, my dad is my best friend. Yo, yo, yo. That's it. And you will be there thinking, oh my God, I took care of you until you are at this age. Your daddy did not have anything to do with you. This is why you have to listen up. If you have a child and the daddy said he does not want Okay, we're not fighting. After we fight, you can fight for a month or so when you have actually, you know, it's hard. But after some time, you call him, okay, I do school on Monday to Tuesday, Thursday to Friday, the child will come to your house. Then you do school run, stay the child to school. Weekend, this weekend, I stay with the child. Next weekend, the child come to your house. Yeah, me? Easy. Division of labor. Okay. If the child is in uni, don't drive three hours to go and drop the child in uni. You call the dad, hello, can you come and take your child to uni? Three hours drive to outside London or anywhere, any country you are. Don't be like, no, don't call him, no, no, no. You know, because of, you want to collect best mom award, okay? Because I'm not, this is it, yeah, I'm telling you from experience. You know, I always tell you guys that me, yeah, I'm Igbo and Yoruba, isn't it? I'll tell you guys story time on that day. This is the story I'm going to tell you on that day. I'm going to tell you guys the gist. This gist is very nice gist. You guys are going to hear my story time. If you want this gist, long gist, comment down below. I'm going to gist you. It's very important that you gist you guys because you guys need to be enjoying me. You're not feeling me. You need to be feeling me because me, I will keep it real with you guys. I know a lot of people are going to go in the comments and just saying, Hey, that's not true. But 
I'm telling you from experience, okay? Let a man be involved in the children's life. Because the only way that's going to happen, that after they are 18, you're still going to be in charge, is only, like I said, be praying for the husband not to be okay. That you should be okay. Let me say it small, small. That's a bad prayer. Don't pray that, but I'm telling you, it is what it is. But yeah, because the story will change. Okay, there's this story I want to tell you guys here. There's this girl, I did her, um, yeah, this bride. Her mom did not come to her wedding. Guess what, yeah? Her mom trained this girl until, you know, like a single mom, everything. Then, then, I, after the child is 18, the child started having contact with the dad, started going to the dad, and all that. They, he, she and her dad made up, made up, okay? Then on the wedding day, the mom was like, I know your dad made up, your dad is not coming to your wedding. Your dad is never, I don't want him anywhere, I don't want to see him, because obviously I'm not saying. This girl said, no, my dad is going to be at my wedding. You cannot believe, even the mom did not want to come to the wedding because the dad is coming. The girl is okay for the mom not to come to her wedding, and the dad will come. She like, if you guys cannot make up and come together, and you come to my wedding, if you're not going to come to my wedding because my dad is going to not come, come to my wedding, then it's fine. Can you believe that? Hmm, no, that's it. Truth is bitter, but you guys know I want to tell you the truth. This particular one is from experience, you know, personal experience, not like they say they say. I'm telling you guys, so many examples out there. It's as if celebrities, just celebrities, all the single mothers that actually train children. Even if the child is okay, even let's even say, forget about richness you now. It's a bit of natural thing. You just want to meet your dad, you want to go to your dad, and stuff like that as well. Yeah. So, sometimes, that's it. So, the main important thing is that seek help when you need help. Don't be like, oh, I have to do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Ah, don't do that. I know. I have a friend. Okay. This is not to encourage you. No, this is not to discourage you not to be a good mom. I'm a good mom. You guys, I'm a very good mom, okay? So I'm not actually telling you not to be, I'm just telling you guys, like, take life easy. Take things easy. Don't just be like, oh, you want to do too much. Then after that, you start complaining that husband doesn't help. You're suffering by yourself. Okay. Obviously, there's so many family dynamic. As every family has their own dynamic, okay? Every family has family dynamic and everything like that. But in most cases, ask for help when you need help. Especially if you're a working mom. Ask for help. Okay. Um, okay. Anger will make you do a lot of things. And say, oh my God, don't come anywhere, my child. And later on, you'll be sad because when the child starts going to the pet dad, oh my God, you'll be so sad. You will not even like the child. Some of them will not hate. Some of these uh, parents will not hate the child for going to the dad. Mm. Well, yeah. Don't kill yourself. If they're not cook, buy takeaway. Okay? Takeaway is nice. Tomorrow I'm gonna order takeaway from one African restaurant. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Hey. Hey, so nice. Mmm. Bread and zero bread is the best thing ever. You guys, like, I want you guys to put your own two cents. And also tell me, if you want to hear my story time, I'll give you guys hot hot a lot. You guys, a lot. Ah. It's not easy in this life. A lot happens. A lot of things happen in this life. But if you're a lady, this is me telling you, don't kill yourself, people. This life, make it easy. Any parent that you see take any action in life, yeah? There's a reason for everything, yeah? So I have my cousin. Her mom dropped her, okay, with my uncle. When her mom dropped my uncle, I think when she was like three months old, and left her with my uncle. Can you believe that? Is she a bad mom? She's not a bad mom. She just did what was right at the time. That's it. She's not a bad mom. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi. Right. This is so nice. You guys, don't you enjoy my mukbang? My mukbang is so juicy. More than chef all that you name. Know? Guys. My mukbang is so juicy. Very juicy. Mmm. Next time when I'm coming, I'll prepare this topic very well. This one is just me. Eating breakfast and just 
because I'm a parrot, you guys know. I feel like I like talking. I feel like why not just gist my kitty pies? Let's gist together. Make sure you're eating. Anytime you see me come, okay? If you see me come, I'm like, okay, it's gist color. We're gonna be gisting or talking. Bring your own food because it's gonna be long. Mm. Mm. Guys. Um. Yeah. Mm. Guys, I'm gonna be signing out. I think. Ah, am I full? I think the talk I'm talking are making make me believe full. I don't even know. Is it the talk? I don't even know. The gist. But I'm gonna be signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Comment down below, okay? Contribute because I know you guys don't pretend in the comment section. Call a spade a spade, okay? And if you think I'm talking rubbish, okay? If you think I'm talking rubbish, you think I'm talking jargon, jargon, jargon. If you think I'm talking nonsense sticker or nonsense or nonsense anything, comment down below. Say, Chichi, you're talking rubbish, okay? You're talking, comment down below. If you think I'm saying rubbish, okay? If you think I'm saying rubbish, comment down below. Say, Chichi, you're saying rubbish. Chichi, you're talking rubbish. You're talking nonsense. Okay, comment and just, just put your own one cent, whether good or bad. Just put some. I would love to read you guys coming. Do you like my hair? I like it. Oh my god, this is nice. This hair color is the bomb. Mm. Guys, I'm gonna be signing out. I want to see you guys rock. I am popping. You gotta be popping, okay? You gotta be looking cute, okay? There's always trouble. There's always something, something happening. There's always things that are gonna happen. So just look cute, okay? And that's it. Bye, guys.